package inbound. Hi everyone, it's Angela here, Nathan Stein. I'm just about to paint our Harley hammer that we made. If you missed the tutorial for this one, did a full run through of how you can make your own. Starting with some just cheap brown acrylic. The actual color is burnt umber. Use any color you like. Now, hopefully you've seen my dry brushing tutorial. If you have not, I suggest that you do, but to save you going and doing that, because that's a bit clickbaity. I've just put some brown paint here on this card. I'm gonna put some on a brand new soft brush, and then I'm gonna rub quite a bit of it off onto some kitchen roll, and then I'm gonna start doing this. Back and forth, always across, always across any indentation. You don't want to go this way and fill it with brown because you want the black to show up. I'll speed this up so that you're not bored to tears because it's the same thing over and over again. Back and forth, back and forth, and I'm going to do that all the way around. Um, to begin with, obviously, I've sprayed this with some Plasti Dip, uh, black Plasti Dip. So that's a good base. You can get that in paint shops. If you can't find Plasti Dip, just go for a flat black uh, enamel. Okay, you get the idea. I am going to stop the video and I'll be back when I've done the entire thing brown don't worry if you go over and don't worry if you're adding extra brown in my dry brushing usually I take most of the paint off but for this one we want it to be an obvious brown in the center okay I've done the brown I'm hoping that the crappy lighting in here is showing that up all around the central area and now I'm going to do this and I'm just going to do it messy I'll show you this in the actual eyes don't worry about this this will be a different color thinking of doing this red. I think it'll look cool. I'm just doing it brown to start with to pick up some brown in it hopefully even if I do do it red. Okay next up the bongo part. I'm going to tape it off and come back. Okay we're all taped up finally. What a flipping nightmare. Worst masking tape in the world. Now you could tape off the black, but I tend to tape off things that are lower than higher. That's entirely up to you. This will need to stay black, so if you want to tape it off now, tape it off now. That sounds suspiciously like I have a little visitor. So who's here with me today? Jackson. Jackson. What did Jackson say about this? What do you think about this thing? It's a big hammer and you do this. It is a big hammer and you do that. You're right. Is it looking all right? Yeah. Yeah. What do you think? It's not a bright, bright yellow, is it? That's a happy face and eyes. <laughs> it's a happy face and eyes. Look, from the mouths of babes, folks, we know what it is. Came in, he said, "That's a giant hammer." Whoa! Didn't you? Hit you hit it. You hit it. Yeah. So, what are we going to do today? Did you say? Um, we're going to play a game. Oh, what game are we going to play? We're going to play with... What are our thoughts on the hammer? Whoa. What do you think? It's a big hammer. It is a big hammer. It's You're right. wood. It's like wood. It does look like wood, yeah. It looks like wood. Who's your favourite superhero? Um, she's Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. She's awesome. And Supergirl. 
Oh, Supergirl's cool. I love Supergirl and Wonder Woman. Oh, well, that's brilliant. I love Supergirl and Wonder Woman. Good, you've chosen two good heroes there. They're very cool. I like Supergirl and Wonder Woman. Yeah, good job. If you get a little one in a and a bad one, then oh. you have to get it back. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Okay, let me just explain to the folks here what we've done. We've dry brushed in this to sort of look like a tan leather. And it looks like a little bit of a bongo drum. What do you think? Good. It does look like that. And what does this look like? Uh, well. Yellow smiley face. So I've dry brush that, I'm going to come back when I don't have my cute little assistant with me and I'm going to finish this side. And I have decided I am going to do this red. I think it'll look cool. And then we just need to do the strapping. So we'll do that next time. It's handy because my camera's almost out of juice. We'll be back. Say bye to the people. Bye. Bye peeps. Another day, more painting. Just going to do this side. Same as we did this side. So it's the yellow ochre or yellow ochre, uh, depending on how you say it. This color here. And fresh brush because my other brushes are all dried out. And just start doing the same thing that we did on this side. So hit it up around the edge to start with. Now I realise you could um, spray paint this, but I prefer doing it by hand because it brings up all of the little lumps and bumps. And I think if this was real leather, you would probably see those. Okay, I'm going to keep doing that and do this bit like this, just going back and forth across it. And then we'll come back. Okay, time to just tape off where we've done the faux leather so that this is sticking out above it. Okay, all we've done here is tape off so that these bands are sticking up away from everything else. It just makes it easier to paint it without getting it anywhere else. For this, I'm just using a metallic acrylic silver. New brush. And so it begins. Across, across, across. Don't worry about the brown. This will sort of drown that out. You don't want to paint the entire thing silver because you want it to look a little bit worn, like maybe she's bashed a few things with it. Which is why I'm wiping it off before I paint it on, as opposed to just slapping it on. Okay, that's most of the middle work done. I'm probably going to do a little bit more. You probably noticed that uh, even though I said go across, that I was doing it that way now and again. That's because of these bumps. I wanted them to show up a little bit more um, than they were. And the edge, I was doing that just so that you can see that it's metal along there and it's not just plain black. Just lightly all the way around. Next up, taping off the smile. Okay, have you ever before seen such a splendid taping job? <laughs> it doesn't matter how messy it is, main thing is that we've covered up the leather around the top. New brush, and I'm gonna hit this up with some red, just to make it pop a little, hopefully.
Now, as with the metal work, you're not looking for full coverage here unless that's really what you want. I am looking for a, sort of a worn coverage. So I'm not gonna fill in everywhere that it's black or brown. Just most of it. That might actually do it. Here we go. Time to take the tape off and do this if you believe in such things, because this is the worst part. If you've worked on a prop for ages and you take the tape off and it takes the paint with it, you're gonna cry. I'll come back once I've taken the tape off. go okay so the tape came off no problem and you can see the different uh, textures I will take photos over where the light is better I say that in every video that I do because the lighting over here is pretty awful you don't get to see all the shading but hopefully you can pick up some of it the red turned out pretty cool you can see what I was saying about leaving so that it's not all the way to the edge I always think that looks a little bit better the leather turned out all right, I think. I've forgotten to do that, but I'm just literally going to tape around there and then hit that with some silver. Same as here. Same thing that we did here. Getting there. Nearly done. Just thought I'd record this little bit just so that you could see. I just taped off around it like that. Just going to hit it with some silver. All done. I think just for texture, I'll probably um, do that in silver as well, just to sort of make it pop. So I'm just gonna take that off and do that now. You can see that. Next up, the handle. Now, usually I do this brown, but because that's brown, I'm going to leave this black and then I'm going to put some faux leather down the bottom and then cap it off with a red pill bottle that I found or pill bottle lid because I thought that was funny given it's uh, Harleen Quinzel. All right, I'll be back. Okay, I found some strapping. It's a little uneven, but it's all I've got, so... Given this a tutorial, I'm just going to use this and the pill bottle lid that I was talking about. I think they'll add some cool detail. Hopefully you can see that just to the bottom for amusement's sake. Okay, usually when I do this, I do super glue, but because this is slightly sort of fuzzy on the back, I'm going to try uh, my contact adhesive, contact cement, whatever you want to call it. Um, and I'm just going to wrap around here. So let's see how we go. And there we go. Starting on a slight angle. Remember, this will be covered by the pill cap. And we want it tight. So, cool. You just want to pull it on a slight angle so you're just covering up the top of the last bit that you've put on. I'm sure you know how to wrap things if you've ever played tennis or anything. Just slightly angled around. Okay, that's super boring, so I'm going to do the rest off camera. Same thing, contact adhesive, contact adhesive, wait for it to go tacky, zip it around. Okay, so I've repainted the handle. And the grips on a few little mistakes, we can wipe them off. The only other thing I've done is I hammered in one of those uh, furniture tacks just to give it some extra support. Next up, 
the base. Now I could have just screwed it on or glued it on the way it was, but I've decided to dry brush it because I think it's a shame to lose the detail there. So I'm just gonna quickly do that now. Okay, that's the lid done. You can see that. Just put some contact adhesive in and about to pop it on the bottom. Here we go. Holly Hammer complete. Still got a few little touch ups that I would probably do, but I can do that off camera. You get the idea. Hopefully that has helped you make your own or something similar. I'll take some photos and I will pop them up now. Hopefully if you've enjoyed this tutorial, you will make me smile and subscribe. That would be awesome. Thanks for taking the time to watch. That's Nerf and Stein out.